All right, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna run through kind of the basics of the Connects board and kind of show you uh, what trumps what because we have to set priority with everything. Um, so when you hit the brakes, when you do turn signals, when you hit reverse, you know, what shows through. Um, so I kind of want to do a series of videos showing the priority of everything, how it works, the basics of how you connect it, and uh, what our end goal is. So stick around and here we go. All right, so a lot of the pictures uh, we see right now are just the raw board. That's not the end game here. In game is we actually designed it to go inside this case where we can fully uh, epoxy it so it's fully waterproof. Um, and so the idea would be this is what you would see and all the wires will be sticking up and you can see all the labels. So kind of that's our end goal there with the uh, board and being fully waterproof. Um, this board is fully backwards compatible with all our Rhino products. So it's an add-on board. So you don't have to use it. You can use a little or as much as you want of all these features. All you do is tie in a controller, you tie it into the board, and then it passes through all the data. I'll have a much bigger video on how to wire it later, but the premise is these are your trigger wires, and these are the ones you're going to wire to rocker switches, to your tail lights, to some kind of trigger to say, hey, I'm in reverse, or hey, I'm hitting the brakes. The reverse trigger, you can always wire to just a rocker switch because you might have other wires on your vehicle that come on or you want to turn on when you back up. So you can wire this into that switch as well and then it will tell the whole system to back up. But all these are just 12 volt inputs. So all you need to do is supply uh, 12 volts to any one of these and then they will work. Simple as that. Let's see if I can get a video. You see how we have, it says right blink only, left blink only, right all, left all, and pass through. So what we mean by that is the pass through channel doesn't get affected by turn signal break or reverse. The left and right all is full function. So you get turn signal break and reverse functionality on those two channels. And then the left and right blink only is literally like it says, just turn signal only. So it doesn't get affected by breaking or reverse. So that's our five channels. You can hook any products up to any of these channels, any product. Anything we make can be controlled by this system. So you have the flexibility to customize it however you deem you want it done. So that is a cool system or a cool thing about our system right here. All right, put you up top so you can kind of look down on this, uh, but here we have just kind of a basic setup. I'm at the house, so I just have rock lights and as you see the small halos representing everything. So these two outside, lights here are your left and right all channels. So again, they do turn signal break reverse. Uh, the halos you see here are the turn signal only channels. So again, they're gonna do turn signals only. Um, and then the eight rock lights I have in the middle are the pass through channel. So they don't get affected by any of the turn signal break or reverse functionality. But uh, you can hook up rock lights to them and just have them, they'll constantly just always do what the controller's doing. So that's kind of the layout of the products. So now let me turn this on and start going through all the modes. All right, so what you're seeing now is we have the connect board on and the controller. So both items are on and I'm gonna run through kind of the basic modes. So you have as always, your left and right triggers, so your left turn signal and right turn signal. So as we discussed before, this can be internal or external blinking. So we will show you more about what that means later. Uh, then you have your reverse trigger and then your brakes. And as you see, the brakes flash five times and then go solid red. Um, and so one of the feedbacks we got was, all right, what if we're reversing? And then what if we turn on our turn signal? Well, as you see, it doesn't override the reverse mode. So your front halo or front left and right blink only channels will blink, but your reverse channel will still stay solid white. But then what if you're doing turn signal 
and then decided, you know, you need to hit the brake. Well, as you see, it doesn't override the turn signal. So we have logic in there to kind of uh, dictate that. So with turn signal running, your brake will show through on the other channel on the other side. All right, so that was the basic functionality of turn signal brake reverse. So now let's kind of go into more of the fun stuff and what makes this a little different. So we have a mode called Patriot mode. And so it's a red, white, and blue uh, patterns. And we actually have several patterns. So this is one of them. Uh, this is another. And it just changes from red, white, and blue. And this is a, kind of a flag effect, if you will, red, white, and blue. So again, that's Patriot mode. So that will overwrite the whole system and allow you to do a red, white, and blue channel. But the cool thing is, it still is compatible with turn signal, brake, and reverse functionality. So you don't lose any of that stuff. So if you hit the brakes with this on, you do turn signals, whatever it is, it's, it still shows through. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. And all right, moving on to what we're trying to do is strobe mode. So right now you see we have a kind of a pattern going. Um, I'm recording on my phone so I can't really change it, but I think this is pattern one on the app. And so then we can activate strobe mode. As you see, it does strobe, turns it on and off rapidly. Well, we have five modes of strobe. So you can uh, touch the cycle button and as you see, it will slow it uh, down. So if you turn this red, blue, green, purple, whatever teal, whatever color you want. Um, anything coming from the controller can be strobed. So that's a uh, pretty cool uh, feature we have there. Uh, now another mode we have is if you were to activate the strobe and Patriot mode uh, buttons or triggers at the same time, we go into what we call SOS mode. And so this is SOS mode where we have kind of a flashing uh, white and amber light. And so the whole system will do flashing white and amber. And, but we also can cycle it to red and blue. And we could go in and add more colors if there's color combinations that we deem necessary if you guys have suggestions. But right now we think these are probably the two primary colors. So we have those flashing back and forth. All right, everything to this point has kind of been working off of the internal flashing system on the Connects board. And so I'll try to show you guys, but if you see there's a, a line here that says flash. And what we mean by that is if you were to take this and trigger 12 volts to this and activate it, um, this will uh, assume that you have an external relay flasher which is like a Corbin turn signal kit or XTC or something. If you have kind of an external lighting system, well then you can tap into that system and allow everything to blink together. So I'm gonna, right now I'm gonna put 12 volts to this line. And so that tells the system internally if turn signals or brake were to come on, then go off when the power is released. And so it's a slick way to kind of now be a universal system that will take all our products and tie and work with another system. So if I were now to activate this and I hold it, well see now it doesn't turn off by itself. It waits for you to release it. So, and then it has a timer to kind of wait to see if you're gonna reactivate. If it doesn't get reactivated within, I think a couple seconds, it will then turn it back to doing the lights. So now I'm activating, pushing, letting go, pushing, letting go. So like an XTC kit or a Corbin kit, you could tie this trigger into that and now all the lights will blink together. So that is a cool system that we have in place. And here I'll kind of show you. I just again tied it to 12 volts and then just touched the turn signal leads to this. So that's a cool little system we have there. All right, I got another thing to show you guys. So what if um, you're riding on the street and obviously you can't do 
all this uh, patterns. You can't run all these fancy colors. You can't, you know, have blue, red, and stuff going. But you need your turn signal kit to work. So we thought of that. So right now, I have power only running to the connects board. And as you see, everything de defaults to what we call black or off. So none of the lights are showing. And so now, I can take and uh, put your turn signal to it. And as you see, everything still works. But then when I release it, it goes away. And same thing with the other side. And so instead of defaulting to say the controller and sending patterns or colors to it, they default off and don't actually activate anymore. So that way when you're on the street, and so you could say this is street mode, when you're on the street, you know, you have the functionality of, you know, your turn signals, brakes and everything, but the colors and the patterns won't play a role in that. So this is a really cool thing we did as well. So we've tried to think of all scenarios here.